coco. I'm in love with the coco. I got it for the lolo. I'm in love with the coco. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a haul demo slash review on Black Up Cosmetics. So. If you guys want to see this haul, demo slash review, just stay tuned and keep watching. Black Up Cosmetics is a high-end French makeup brand that was created in 1999 that is dedicated to the women of color. From the lightest shade to the darkest shade, you can find something that is going to fit your skin complexion at this company. Like I said, this is a high-end makeup brand, so that means that the prices are going to be like MAC prices, NARS prices, Anastasia, Beverly Hills prices, you know, those prices. So, you get my drift? Okay. If you have never heard of Black Up Cosmetics, that's probably because Black Up Cosmetics is a brand that is building that is building their brand in the U.S. So, it is going to be a new brand to most people because they are, you know, big in the Caribbean and Europe and Africa. So, yeah. I think it's really dope that they have a brand dedicated to women of color women of color need that because when you go to the drugstore they be stopping at like light skin and i'd be like but i'm brown skin dark skin so where's my colors so yeah that's just a little bit of history on black of cosmetics so let's get to the fun part of the video which is the products so everything came in this box and it was wrapped in this little tissue paper which is really good because it makes sure make sure the products are not going to crack and stuff like that even though one of my contouring sticks kind of melted i kind of expected it to melt because it's hot yeah that was the only thing that melted kind of melted but then i just stuck it in the freezer and it went back to its original state okay so i got four eyeshadows i got a royal blue one which looks like this I got a brown one which is on my list today and I love this color because it's really really pigmented and it goes with my skin tone so it looks very natural like if you're doing like an everyday look in your my skin color this eyeshadow is going to be where is that for you? And I applied it with a e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. And it just it just went on my lids beautifully. It did. And then I have this turquoise color right here. And the last eyeshadow that I got is this navy blue eyeshadow. Which I'm really excited to use. Because I've never actually had a navy, a true navy blue eyeshadow. So yeah, those are the eyeshadows. They're very, very pigmented. And they're very creamy. Like very creamy and they do not show up ashy at all like they show up true to color what you see in the pan is what you get and none of these eyeshadows have a name but they do have a number on the back of them and the brown one is in the number five the royal blue one is 11 m the navy blue one is 09 m and the turquoise one is 12 m M. So I'm just going to put all that down in, this, in the description box and I will try to link all the eyeshadows and their website. Check the description box. So then I got two um, eyeliners. I don't know how to pronounce this. It says Le Col Smoky Waterproof. So I guess these are the waterproof eye coals if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I got two and I got one in black which goes on really really creamy that's the black one really pigmented really creamy and i used this like a week ago but i didn't take a picture in this or anything but it goes on really smooth and then today for this look i used the blue one that i got and like i said oop, like i said <laughs> they're really 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 pigmented like this is a beautiful blue it's beautiful for my face so i got a blush which i didn't use today let me put that on now i'm not a blush person if you guys haven't noticed i don't ever put on blush in my get ready with me or tutorials you guys just see me contour and highlighting that's basically it but 
I don't never really put on blush. But I'm kind of liking this. It's making me look, it's making my cheeks look even more big. But that's cool, I guess. I think all their products are very, very versatile when it comes to skin tone. And nothing will show up ashy on you. So this blush is bomb. So I got a highlighter. And this is like a, a rose gold coral color. It's a very summery color. And I think this is like really, really pretty. And this is not a shimmery type highlight. It's not shimmery at all. It just makes you look like you're glowing from within. You see that? I have it on today. I don't know if you guys can tell. But if you see any highlight going on, that's this right here. So that's the highlighter I have on today. And I just applied it with a fan brush. And I freaking love this highlighter. And I like the packaging. It has like a gold trimming. And all their packaging is really, really sleek. Everything is black. And if you do not know, I like black. Like, black is just love. Like I said before, these products do not have any names. But they do have numbers on the back of them. And this is 0432514. And I will link that below. And then for my contour and highlighting... Um, and foundation. I didn't really put on any foundation at all. I just color corrected. So I color corrected with the contouring sticks they sent me. But if you're a person that is not, you know, familiar with contouring and highlight, they, they actually give you a pamphlet showing you how to contour and highlight your face, which is really, really good because most products that you buy don't come with a manual to tell you what to do with it. So I think that is dope that these sticks come with little pamphlets. I color corrected with the darkest stick. They just scroll up like this and I just patted it on the places where I have dark spots. So I color corrected with this. On the other side is the contouring part. This stick right here is too dark for me. If I was to contour with this, it would look like I got punched in the side of my face. So if I was to contour with this stick, I would literally have to be very, very light handed. You have to be light handed with these products anyways because they are really, really pigmented. So yeah, just a heads up. And I contoured with this stick. So I just put some dots here, some dots here, a dot right here. Oop. <laughs> I contoured my nose, I contoured my forehead, and I did the same thing to the other side of my face. So that's what I contoured with. I blended it out with a e.l.f. angled brush. So that's the contour that you guys see today. For highlighting, I actually used the Full Coverage Foundation, um, which is oil-free, which is really, really good. And I didn't set anything on my face today. And my under eye highlight didn't crease. And that's what always creases on me. Like every time I highlight under my eyes, it always creases, which really irritates me. I just put like upside down triangles under my eye. I highlighted under my cheekbone to make my cheekbone appear more stronger than it really is. And I highlighted my chin and my nose. If you guys do not know, I am like combination skin. So I get oily in my T-zone area. And this hasn't creased yet I've been highlighting like if you guys have seen well I haven't really been posting on Instagram because I've been taking a break from social media blah 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 but I only posted one picture which is not really a good quality picture but in that picture I have this foundation as a highlighter on am I confusing you guys I highlighted with this foundation it reminds me of my LA girl concealer which I the light <laughs> which I normally um highlight with and that's in the color chestnut which is right here so these two colors are like around the same shade so I didn't use this as a foundation I used this to highlight my face which worked perfectly and I blended it out with a beauty blender so I'm loving this foundation as a highlighter color and this is in the color CH11 so yeah I love it. For my lips today, I used the um, lip gloss and I got two of them. I got this one and this is in the color 6 and this one is in the color 
two. These are the Ultra Glossy Moisturizing Lip Care Lip Glosses. And these are very, very moisturizing. I got this mauve burgundy color. It's a very cool toned burgundy color. And I don't know if I'm going to wear this myself, but I'm looking at this. And this is like a really, really, really pretty mauve cool toned burgundy. That's how I'm going to explain it. <laughs> and today I used this natural lip color. This color is more on the yellowy peachy side and my lips are like more on the red brownish side but this color still works perfectly it lets my natural lip color show through and I actually um, put a wet n wild lipstick on first I line my top lip and my bottom lip and then I just put this on top of it and it's the perfect everyday lip gloss um so I think that's it for this haul if I miss something, oops, but that's everything that's in front of me. That is it for this Black Up Cosmetics makeup haul and demo slash review. And I hope you guys like this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Nice to meet you. How you doing? We taking trips. Trip. On the island. Islands. A bitch bad. bad. She from the island. She Where the blood? On the island, no Gilligan. Gilligan. I'm on the island, islands, black, black. trip, islands, water, water, islands. Or why it gotta be so hot?